All right, hey guys, it's Zachy D again. A little bit of an update video on my 2007 Subaru. Uh, it's been a little bit. Last couple of videos that I had of this thing were shown how I did the exhaust and that I got it. I can't remember, I'll have to look if I actually had a video on when I had this thing lowered, but if you can tell right now, it's not lowered anymore. <laughs> um, last, no, two weeks ago, I put on new Subaru Forester struts on this thing. And yeah, that put it up in the air a good bit. So I used uh, brand new struts from, I think it said it was from like 2005 to 2008 Super Forester. They pretty much bolt right in, all the top hats and bolts, everything's the same. Obviously the only thing that's different is that it's a longer shock body, so it lifts a Subaru two inches over stock. Now I had to do a few things to make that work, or at least to have it, you know, not wear the tires unevenly and all that kind of fun stuff. For the front, I had to change out my CV axles. Uh, the original ones that I had on it, uh, the right side was still OEM and was doing okay, but the left had been replaced and that started clicking pretty bad. So I used some Trackmotive HD CV axles. They have this like additional plunger uh, telescoping section in them that allows for more flex. And on their website anyway, they say they can flex up to, I think it said 45 degrees. And original CVs can only flex up to 32 or something like that degrees. So I haven't had any problems with those so far, knock on wood. Uh, as for the back, those CV axles, they really don't have that much of an angle at all on them. The only thing that I had to do is when I lifted it, it made the front tire, or the front of the tire, closer to the wheel well in the front. So what I had to do was add two inch trailing arm spacers and that got it right back to factory specs as far as having the wheel centered. So that fits pretty good. Let's see, so nothing else for the front. Nothing too much going on with it. Someone's racing. Nothing much for the rear, except I got a, one of those trays from the junkyard. So, you know, obviously I had some dirty chain in here and that kept it nice and clean. I have my sub box in here, which I have strapped to a strut bar, which I got from eBay. I had to ratchet strap it in place so it didn't keep sliding around, but it was bending my box in, so just got some pieces of angle iron and it ain't gonna go anywhere now. And still have the OG amp that I've had since my <laughs> Ford Probe. And as far as inside, like I said, nothing crazy happening in here. Have a short throw shifter installed. It's a little more notchy than factory, but not too bad. Sony head unit, like I said, nothing really going on in the interior. I need to clean it other than that. Um, for the transmission, when I lifted it, obviously, I also put in a, what's called a white line uh, transmission mount. Well, it's not an entire mount. It's like this piece of rubber that you slide into the factory mount and that keeps the transmission, the original mount from sagging, causing more angle on your CV joints. So I did that and uh, it's too early to tell. I just put it in today to see if it works or not. But we'll find out soon enough. Man, I really need to wash this thing. Also today, I had to change my lift transmission input shaft seal because it was weeping a little bit and I found out it was about a quart and a half low transmission fluid. So I changed that out for some Cashel Syntec full synthetic transmission fluid. I think it was like 75, 90 or 80, I think 90. Nothing crazy going on in here. Another eBay special strut bar. And I just took out that one section of uh, intake that has this, I think it's called like a noise deadening baffle in it, which kind of like sticks out and looks dumb. But nothing going on really in here. Like my original video said this isn't the original motor. It's actually the third motor. But first for me, I have headlight restore kit. I'm gonna buff out these headlights because obviously that one's a lot darker than the passenger side. My light bar is still there. And actually, I finally wired that thing up. So now, to have this little switch here that lights up. 
not exactly factory looking, but you know, I didn't drill anything into a dash just in one of those little removable covers. So I can reverse that and just get one from the junkyard if I want to. And obviously I'm missing the bottom lip of my bumper still, but funny enough, uh, a friend of mine has a Ford Focus ST and he had some eBay lip on it that he took off and gave to me. And I <laughs> zip tied that to the bottom. And actually the ends of it, I cut off and then took the passenger side, put it on driver, driver on passenger to make these little canard looking things, whatever you want to call them. Not sure if I like them, not sure if I don't. They kind of go with the fog light covers, which eventually I plan on taking those off as well and putting in some fog lights. Just haven't gotten to it yet. And I put the factory style rims back on because the steelies that were on it with the hubcaps, uh, tires were getting a little worn on those. Swapped to some OEM style rotors in there. Like I said, Forster struts fit in there quite nice. I have some rear camber bolts for the rear for when I actually get this thing aligned, but I hadn't put them in yet. Actually, the ones I got, I'm pretty sure, aren't the correct ones because they're a lot smaller. And the exhaust is still the same for now. Just, just the cat and then the tip there. Is any equal length headers from eBay? A couple more stickers, you know, because stickers add horsepower. And you know what you can get with a naturally aspirated car. But other than that, like I said, the exhaust I'm gonna change eventually. Don't mind the mess in here, haven't cleaned up yet. But I have a big resonated tip to put on it. Actually, obviously I've used that before. Oh yeah, that's the intake piece I was talking about. It has this stupid little noise deadening thing on it. Really clean out in here today. But yeah. Other than that, I'm just jumping around now. Eventually I kind of plan on adding a roof basket too because I will be putting some different rims that I have on this thing with slightly bigger tires, nothing crazy because it's still my daily driver. But yeah, other than that, just an update that's just been lifted now. Till then.